Good morning everyone, I hope you're doing well. So today I thought I'd record a little bit of uh, work slash study with me. I have got a lot to do, I've got, it's currently 5 past 10 and I've got a problem sheet to hand in the Maths Institute 12. The problem sheet is more or less done, I just need to write it out, so I'm going to go to the Maths Institute right now, sit down for an hour, write it out, because I've got like all my answers on like rough bits of paper and whiteboards and photos on my phone. So I'm going to write it all out, hand it in before 12, grab some lunch, and then I need to start working on my philosophy essay for next week. So, let's get to it. <laughs> also, I kind of love my new coat. I got, this was sent to me from ASOS, and I just love it. So, a lot of you have actually been asking me what it's like to prepare for an essay at Oxford. Um, and so, you've probably seen a lot of vlogs of me working, reading, making notes, but I haven't really gone through that process with you. So, usually we're set about six to ten papers to read. They usually could be anywhere between 20 and 100 pages long, and they will detail someone's argument about a specific topic. I think the best way for me is um, to get all of the PDFs on, on my laptop, which are available through the university's website. Sometimes I feel like I can spend a long time reading a specific article, but I might get caught up on details that are just totally irrelevant to me, so rather than doing all of that nitty-gritty reading first, I will just try and do an overview. Um, and for those of you that want actual technical help, this week's episode is sponsored by PDF Element. Now, PDF Element is a fantastic piece of software made by a company called Wondershare. A lot of you might have heard of them for their video editing softwares. Um, absolutely fantastic. It's a great alternative to um, PDF viewers like um, Adobe, uh, a much cheaper alternative as well. I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and I found such a dramatic difference between the efficiency with which, with which I can make notes. Um, so you can open up any of your PDF files on the software itself and just immediately make notes there and then add text boxes where you need to and it's just so much easier and so effective um, because when you're given so many different texts to read, sometimes I just need to go through it um, in a systematic way and just read as much as I can, just be able to highlight things and it, having that functionality is really useful. The good thing is that sometimes when I find documents on the internet, they're in like other Microsoft Office, for, Office format, such as a Microsoft document, you can just drag and drop the document straight to the app. Not only view it in um, PDF element, but you can also convert it into a PDF, a PDF form and that will just lift all the text from it, even a scanned document, it will lift all the text from it and convert it into a PDF text so you can actually highlight words, which was just magical for me because sometimes I have texts that are only available on a scan and when I'm making notes I need to copy a couple of lines rather than type it all out and it's just so much easier. On the whole, it's just a fantastic software as a student and if there's something that you're looking for that will help you make that note, make, note taking process more efficient, um, it's a great alternative to other apps out there definitely at a better price point and it really is great because it lets you edit files it lets you convert files it lets you fill in forms add signatures um, to forms it's just really useful so I definitely recommend it so once I've collected all of my notes from reading all of the different documents that I've been sent um, that's when I go back to the essay question and then I try and reread the highlighted bits only and see what act what papers of these are actually relevant because often tutors will set you papers that aren't directly relevant but are good for you to get a broad a good for you to get a broad understanding of the topic and sometimes if you're in a bit of a time crunch I'd rather leave that reading to later so yeah that is roughly how I take notes. If you want a more detailed video about how I take notes, let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know if you've had a chance to check out PDF Element because I've been loving it. If you want a video on the software that I use or the kind of apps that I think that are useful for me as a student, I would happily make one of those, so let me know. But yeah, now I need to get back to work. I'm actually gonna go get some bubble tea because it's, I'm feeling really hot, even though it's not that hot. I'm gonna get some bubble tea and work in this new bubble tea place. Well, it's not new, but this bubble tea place just, just across the road. Then I'll come back and work in the library for a bit. <laughs> so they had buy one, get one free bubble tea. So rather than getting two for us to share, we got two each <laughs> because I, why did we do that again? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. We're gonna work for a bit. Um, yeah, we say we're gonna work for a bit. Are we gonna work? <laughs> we're gonna try. We're gonna try. The bubble tea was great. I've become such a fan of bubble tea right recently, which is actually quite bad because now I go quite often. Um, and then I spent the rest of the evening working in the college library, and then finished the rest of my essay the next day 
got up early and was in the library the whole day, making notes for my essay, essentially just trying to finish the research and reading part of the process, just so that I, I'm moving on to the stage where I can do closer reading once I'm once I'm only reading content that is relevant to the essay question. library ASAP because I have so much to read. It's so foggy outside today, like I could barely see like people on the other side of the road from me. It's kind of crazy.